guys, day three, Bella Magazine. We're still behind the scenes at Style 360, and we're finally getting to see a face behind the show. One of the producers, let us know what goes into something like Style 360. Well, uh, a lot. It's Fashion Week. There's a ton of moving parts. So we, uh, you know, we're on day three right now and uh, winding down. But it's been a great week. You know, we're excited. We've been around the block for a long time. This year's our 14th year, and uh, we get eight shows this year. So uh, it's a lot of lot of moving parts, as I mentioned, dealing with the uh, sponsors and the designers, all the celebrity wrangling, uh, the press, and. Um, and all the intricacies of the show. So it's been a, it's been a great week as we're used to it, haven't been around the block and uh, the show's been exciting, so. So you said you've been around for 14 years, but I feel like Style 360 has kind of taken off in recent years. It's become a lot more popular in the past. People are talking about it, it's all over social media. What would you attribute that to, do you think? You know, just how we approached it. We kind of started out as kind of an emerging designer place where we first evolved. So a lot of the kind of new designers, which today are some of the bigger brands, like Rodarte was one of our first shows. Uh, but we've now, in the last five, six years, have really taken a careful approach on how we curate our shows. So we're just being a little more strategic as far as curating a great selection of designers that are going to play together and round out a great fashion week. So it's kind of a mix of... Uh, you know, top brands with uh, fueled with celebrity designers as well. That's going to create a lot of you know pop culture excitement, and I think that's been a successful uh, formula for us. Definitely, you've had some huge shows: uh, Kittenish, Jesse James Decker, uh, Mary Playa. Yesterday, you had a bunch of Sports Illustrated swimsuit models in the house. Do you have any plans, at least, that you can talk about for future shows? Um, you know, we take one season at a time. We used to do uh, for about half of those years, uh, both seasons, February and September. The last few years, we've been really focused on September just because of uh, uh, the climate with sponsors. But um, we are looking for next year being our 15th year. It's going to be a big anniversary. So I think we're going to come in with uh, uh, February shows. It might be uh, uh, two days versus three. And then rolling out for our uh, a much big September as well. So that's kind of our plan. And uh, we are always kind of investigating opportunities maybe to London, maybe to Paris Fashion Week as well, and see how Style 360 uh, plays in the international market. Very cool. So I always ask everyone, Bella's tagline is beauty defined by you. Obviously, you kind of see things from behind the scenes, but you have a great grasp on beauty in the fashion industry. So how do you think you would define beauty? You know, for us and for what we do behind the scenes, I, def I define beauty as the experience. So what's the experience that everybody comes through here uh, that really kind of makes it a beautiful moment? So obviously our sponsors are a key part of that, uh, the experience that they have in engaging our, our in touching points with our consumers and guests that are coming through here, from Skechers to Not Your Mothers to uh, Ember Lease and Line 39 providing the bar and drinks. It's kind of really those nice, uh, uh, careful touch points with our guests that really kind of help elevate that beautiful experience. Definitely. Well, it's been great so far. I look forward to the last day. Thank you for everything. All right. Well, thank you and uh, enjoy.